Rod McKenzie is the Managing Director of Policy and Public Affairs at the Road Haulage Association. He's with me on the line. Rod, good morning. Good morning, Adam. Are you encouraged then by what Mr Sharps announced yesterday? Well, every little bit of help is welcome, and uh, in no way would I want to reject what he's said or done. But I think uh, it's worthwhile for Radio York listeners to understand a little bit more about what's going on, the big picture, in road haulage. If you are uh, supplying the supermarkets or uh, medical uh, outlets and so forth, you've probably never been busier. Uh, Lorry drivers who are doing that job, probably listening right now, are doing an amazing job delivering the things we need. 98 percent of everything we get in Britain comes on the back of a lorry. So that part of the industry is busy and doing a great job. But there are many other haulage firms that would supply the shops that are currently closed. I'm thinking of clothes stores on High Street, for example, pubs and restaurants and, and, and uh, many, uh, many factories. Um, now, they are not rolling at the moment. They're not working because uh, those shops, those outlets, those factories are not open. Uh, and uh, there's a telling bit at the end of what Grant Shapps says where he says, you know, I want – uh, the transport industry to be in a position to uh, supply the recovery. In other words, when we come out of lockdown, when the economy restarts, uh, we need lorries to move stuff around. But the thing is, many, many of those companies have low cash reserves. Uh, they are not getting their invoices paid from before lockdown for obvious reasons, and they still have bills to pay. And we've spoken to many of them. And about half the UK truck fleet is currently parked up. And many thousands of businesses face going bust within the next few weeks. Yes, the next few weeks. So they wouldn't be around when we come out of lockdown and the economy needs to restart. So much more needs to be done to support them. It's interesting what you say there about, about the, the lorry drivers who are delivering food to our supermarkets and then the ones who, who aren't. And presumably, Rod, it, it, with, with no end in sight to these unusual circumstances that we're all finding ourselves in at the moment, it has to be really difficult for hauliers to plan then for the future. Well, exactly. And cash flow and cash is king. And uh, many people who are in any sort of business will know that right now listening to this. Um, if you have uh, you don't have your invoices being paid, you haven't got income coming in, you're trying to pay your staff, perhaps you haven't furloughed them. Uh, you know, you still have bills for um, all, all the standing charges you have in the transport industry uh, and all your overheads charges. Those bills still need to be paid. Uh, and it's an incredible anxious time for business for those reasons and the money is running out and they don't have big cash reserves because they're not big companies um, and and therefore as you say uh, however many weeks from now we come out of lockdown and things start to start up these firms may not be in existence and then we've got real trouble because an economic restart cannot happen that's that's the problem isn't it you, you know you mentioned the the fact that we don't quite know where we're heading, not only when, when we start to, to come out of lockdown, but financially, you know, they're saying that we could be in a far worse situation than we've ever experienced before. You know, we, we remember not so long ago the, 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 the economic crisis that we, that we were in, the recession that we're in, and, and experts are saying that it's going to be a whole load worse than that. And from the point of view of, of hauliers and, and the Road Haulage Association, that's not an ideal situation to find ourselves in at that point. No, it's absolutely not. And of course, um, some people will kind of not recognize this situation and say, well, look, look, um, I see lorries delivering all the time. They're very busy, you know, and, and, and that's absolutely true. There are if you're working in the supermarket trade, food supply or medicines, you are very, very busy. And some of the measures Grant Shapps announced yesterday about keeping ports and uh, ports open and supply chains going. Well, that's great. And the supply chain is working really well. When we had shortages of food on the shelves, it wasn't caused by lack of deliveries. It was caused by people's behavior, panic buying. So the supply chain is, is great for food, but it is only a sector of the industry and only a sector of the economy. And it's the other parts that we need to be worried about right now. If, if you could ask Mr. Sharps for one thing right now, what would it be? 
Well, I think we need we've offered financial help uh, and uh, we need grants, not loans to some of the smaller firms who are struggling with their bills. We don't need it forever. We just need it for a, a few weeks to tide them over until the economy restarts. And uh, there are a number of measures that obviously could be taken, but that is one obvious one. Um, and, and just a, a little bit of help, a little bit of understanding just to get them to pay their bills, to get them through this, this time. Uh, and flexible furlough is also very useful because furlough at the moment benefits, I think, mainly those who are paid uh, on a salary basis monthly. Uh, and we'd like the flexibility to be able to furlough staff weekly so that you could turn them on and off, as it were, um, when the economy restarts much more rapidly and simply. OK, Rod, thanks for that uh, this morning. Rod McKenzie, he's the Managing Director of Policy and Public Affairs at the Road Haulage Association.